Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Capricorn placement. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. And the first message we have is, I can't figure you out. Hmm. So you may be coming off very, very mysterious at this time, Divine Feminine, okay? And if you're wondering how your masculine is currently viewing you, I'm getting that they're studying you at this time. For some reason, they're watching you very, very closely and trying to get more information about you. They're trying to figure you out, but I'm getting that they're having a really hard time doing so because something about you may be confusing them, okay? But this energy is, is a light energy, okay? This is positive energy. It's almost as if this masculine is like sitting back smirking while thinking about you or while trying to figure something out about you, okay? I'm actually picking up on a feminine energy that is always changing, okay? You're always evolving or leveling up in some kind of way. So much so that this masculine never finds you in the same manner that you were the last time that they engaged you, okay? I'm also getting that this may just be your natural disposition. Um, you could be someone who's always trying to find ways to improve yourself, to add value to your life however you can. This could be creatively, um, mentally, physically, as well as your emotional awareness, okay? You always just seem to be evolving. And I'm getting that this is how people view you from and like from the outside and like in general, this is how people view you, okay? If they were to describe you, they would describe you as a person who's always getting better and better and better, okay? So it's almost as if um, every time this masculine feels as if they have you figured out, you do something that totally shocks them. And this keeps them on their toes, okay? This is a very powerful attribute that you have. And this is what makes you stand out from everyone else in their minds, okay? You have like this element of surprise. And they know that there will always be this new or spontaneous energy that you bring in this dynamic, okay? I'm also picking up that this masculine views you as someone who's very nurturing, okay? Very sweet also very considerate but i'm getting clearly that what's sticking out the most of them here is your mind okay i'm getting that you have a very very sharp mind okay um specifically the way that you communicate is what keeps this masculine hooked so you may be a feminine that kind of speaks in riddles or there's something about the way that you speak where you never really reveal too much about yourself. You always leave something to the imagination. And you may not be aware of this, but this actually frustrates this masculine a lot, okay? But it frustrates them because they can't help to be drawn to you. They can't help to be drawn to this quality about you. Um, and this actually challenges them emotionally and intellectually. But it's the way that you're able to do this that's sticking out okay you have this natural way of saying something and kind of leaving them to figure out what it is that you mean okay so naturally by being able to do this you stay on this masculine's mind much longer than they would like to admit okay it's like the things that you say the things that you do really really linger in their minds for a long time it's like you've even become this this big riddle that they want to solve here. You're like a complete mystery to them, but in the best way possible, okay? Um, and in a way, it's, and I'm getting that they kind of enjoy this because I keep getting like this masculine with like a smirk, okay, on their face. It's like they enjoy this energy because you challenge them, okay? You challenge the way they think. You challenge the way they feel. I'm also getting that you naturally exude a very powerful, seductive energy, okay? And this kind of turns them on and fascinates them in a way that they can't really put into words, okay? But the way that they feel in your presence acts as confirmation for what they can't seem to put into words, okay? 
Um, this masculine is impressed by you, Divine Feminine, and your ability to kind of keep them on their toes when it comes to this connection. That's something that they really, really like, okay? That's something that really excites them. Okay, I keep getting like a really light energy like this masculine is kind of smirking and shaking their head when thinking about you because they're intrigued, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay. The next message we have is missed opportunity. Wow, okay. So I'm getting that this masculine feels as if they blew their chance with you, Divine Feminine. There was something about the timing here that became an issue within this connection. This is either a case of the right person at the wrong time or the one that got away kind of energy that I'm picking up on, okay? But overall, this masculine is feeling that the way that you came in contact initially was not a true representation of who they were or what they had to offer you at that time, okay? This may have even caused you to view them in a way that they feel is totally not them. So you may view them as either like a player type or as someone who just wasn't really concerned with establishing a, a serious relationship at that time, okay? I'm also getting that for some of you, there could have been something or someone that may have had their attention, which caused them to kind of overlook you in a sense here. And now they're regretting it, okay? They, they really feel bad about this. Um, they view you as a missed opportunity. And it's like deep down, they're, they're really wishing that they had a chance to, to do this over. Something about that initial impression, okay, um, that they made here that's really sticking out to them and, and really has them feeling a little regretful. Um, and they wonder if this first impression or the way that they showed up initially has kind of tainted your view of them forever, right? Or if, if like they're really wondering if they actually have a chance of coming in to redeem themselves here, okay? This energy is coming through really, really serious though. This, this is a masculine energy who's really, really serious about this, okay? So they're really concerned with how you view them at this stage of the connection, um, Divine Feminine. They definitely wish that they can take back something that happened in the beginning. Maybe this is something that they said here, okay? Um, I'm definitely getting that this masculine has been waiting patiently for another chance to properly, okay, infuse the connection with, with new energy, right? I'm getting that um, even if, even if this was a connection that didn't fully take off, there was something about you that they remembered or something that they couldn't fully get over, okay? It's like your energy has lingered, been lingering in their minds for a while. And they've been sitting back and waiting for things to kind of unfold. This, this may be why this masculine is trying to figure it out. This could be why they are kind of studying you, okay? I'm getting that during this time, you both could have totally went your separate ways. You could have had different relationships, different connections here, but there's still something about you specifically that's sticking out. And I'm also getting that they feel as if the way that you parted ways, it wasn't supposed to happen like that, okay? The way that it happened, they, they feel regretful about that. They wish that you could have done things differently, maybe more amicably, um, but there's something that's sticking out to them about the way in which you parted ways, okay? And this may have left a certain taste in your mouth, Divine Feminine, as well. And they feel like this was not a true representation of their character, okay? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. It's almost as if the way that you view them now, okay, they feel as if you got them totally wrong, Okay. So if this, if this masculine left a bad taste in your mouth, if something happened, if you um, went your separate ways, if things ended on bad terms here, they feel as if you had them totally wrong, okay? They're really regretful about this. And the way that they showed up was not a true reflection of what they really felt, okay? About you or, or the connection. Let's get the next message here. Okay, 
Wow. The next message we have is, I have options, but I want you. Okay. Okay, so this is getting interesting. Okay. So I'm getting that this is very powerful masculine energy, okay? Very powerful masculine energy coming through. This may be a masculine that is sought after, or this could just be a masculine who has the ability to garner a lot of attention, okay? Um, but this is interesting because I'm getting that although they may have many options, where they stand right now, they're, they're not that interested in them at all, okay? These options do not move them at all, okay? I'm getting that this masculine has encountered many different types of feminine energies along their journey, all right? And they're realizing, okay, it's almost as if they're, they're in a deep thought process about their partners, about the connections that they've had here. And they've had a realization that the partners that they've had at certain stages of their lives were kind of like a direct reflection of their own mental and emotional awareness at that time, okay? And when you think about it, this is something that we kind of all can relate to, right? Because when you look back at, you know, relationships, you'll find that your relationships and specifically the dynamic of these relationships can tell you a great deal about yourself, okay? Because the truth is, we don't attract what we want. We naturally attract who we are and what we are at that time, right? So whatever you had with them, Divine Feminine, this appealed to their higher self. And this is what caused that initial spark. I'm getting that um, this could have made this masculine feel something different than what they were used to. And maybe that's why they were this that's what they were unconsciously craving, okay? A new experience. Something that was relatable to who they are now or who they are becoming, right? So, you know, sometimes in life all it takes is one person to not only reaffirm what it is that we know to be true, but to also help us stay in alignment with our highest timeline, okay? I feel like this is what you signify to this masculine divine feminine. So from the outside looking in, you may very well view this masculine as someone who gets a lot of attention or someone that has a lot of options, okay? Or someone who just, you know, may have a lot of feminine energy around them. Maybe they can have their pick here. But at this stage of their lives, they want more. Um, I'm getting that this, this masculine is, is really tapped into maybe like the law of attraction. There's some type of spiritual element here where they're realizing, they've awakened to the fact that the people in their lives are a direct reflection of themselves. And for whatever reason, they feel as if you are the one who matches them on all levels, okay? They can feel this. This may not have been confirmed, okay? This may not have been something that you've spoken about, something that they said to you, but this is more of like an inner knowing. This is more of like a feeling. This is a vibe that they got from you, Divine Feminine, okay? And they feel like the, the way that they represented themselves may have, may have displayed a side of them that they have totally outgrown, okay? And they kind of feel bad because they feel like this is the image of them that you have planted in your mind, okay? Um, truthfully, this masculine desires to have powerful feminine energy beside them. And for some reason, um, I keep going back to your intellect, your mind, your outlook on life here is something that's sticking out to them, okay? They view you as an asset. They genuinely feel that you both will be a force together, okay? Wow. So basically, if, if you were concerned about any external energy, okay, that's not an issue. They are absolutely not focused on that right now. This Divine Feminine, um, you have their full attention, okay, in case you were wondering. Their undivided attention at this time. Wow, okay. Let's get the next message here.
Wow, the next message we have is, I look for you everywhere. Wow, okay. So if you're resonating with this so far, I'm getting that you are the embodiment of divine feminine energy, okay? And this means that you naturally exude many different facets of feminine energy, okay? You have a very spontaneous way of showcasing many of your sides. Um, it's almost like your energy is so intense and you pull on this masculine energy in ways that they can't really explain. It's exhilarating, it's frustrating, it distracts them, but it's almost as if it's just too good for them to turn away, okay? You have them hooked, Divine Feminine. Um, and whether you know it or not, they study you, okay? I'm getting something really clearly about your body language. There may be ways that you communicate with this masculine without actually verbalizing, okay? And you may wonder, you may think to yourself if they're picking up on this, they absolutely do, okay? This masculine may also be intuitive as well. But your nonverbal communication may be very, very subtle. I'm getting that it could be very subtle. Um, and if this masculine wasn't so into you, they may even miss this. But they're paying close attention to you, okay? It's almost like they're, they're studying you, okay? They pay attention to the things that you say specifically. I keep coming back to your mind, your intellect, your speech, the way you communicate, okay? Um, but they view you and they view you in a challenge, as a challenge, and in a very, very good way. Um, and going back to this mysterious element that you have here, you have qualities that they've never really experienced before when dealing with other feminine energies. Um, this is something that they're realizing that everyone does not possess here. And this is what absolutely makes you stand out. So much so that they, they compare you to others. Um, and this is not something that they intend to do. This is not something that they set out to do, but they naturally find themselves wondering what you would do or what you would say, what you would think of certain topics here, okay? When things happen in their day-to-day -day lives, it's you who they wanna share these things with, okay? Yeah, this, this masculine energy that I'm tapping into, very powerful masculine energy. They absolutely admire you. They respect you, Divine Feminine, okay? You're literally the center of their attention at this time, and they're, they're actually enjoying this, okay? <laughs> they feel a really, really good vibe from you, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, you have me exactly where you want me. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting very, very clearly that this masculine is aware of how powerful you are, Divine Feminine. But they aren't intimidated by this, okay? They're actually intrigued. They feel like they, they finally met their match. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up that you may have had many relationships or connections where you felt as if you couldn't fully exude all of your power in a sense, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's like at this stage of your life, you've really fallen madly in love with all of you okay and you seek a partner who loves you in the same way right you're no longer willing to downplay yourself in what you found to be your best attributes okay um i feel like you may have experienced this thing in your past connections if you resonate with this energy so far um it's like you encounter masculine energy and they're totally mesmerized with you and then you get to some point in your relationship where you feel like you have to downplay yourself or that you have to operate in like a lower octave of your energy here, okay? Just to appease their ego. But I don't get that from this masculine energy that I'm tapping into. This is powerful, confident, secure, masculine energy, okay? This masculine has encountered a lot of different feminine energy in their lives, but they have not met anyone like you, okay? It's like they're confident that they can handle your energy and they're like excited about this. I get like this really intense, 
happy, like upbeat kind of energy here. It's like they've been waiting for this, for a connection that's a direct reflection of their power and their divinity as well, okay? Wow. Yeah, this might, they, they want you to know that you have them right where you want them, okay? I'm even getting that they, they may have been preparing themselves for this moment, for this opportunity with you. Something about that that initial contact, something about something that happened in the past here, this missed opportunity. Um, this masculine was waiting for an opportunity to redeem themselves here, okay? And for some reason, the things in the past, um, they didn't come together as planned here. But that initial spark that you set, it kind of set them on this path and this path kind of led them right back to you, Divine Feminine. And now they feel like this is like right now at this time is a perfect opportunity, okay? And they're open and ready. And this masculine is really hoping that you're open and ready as well, okay? They've been waiting, okay? I'm also getting that where they stand right now on their journeys, they look back and feel as if everything ended up working out the way that it should be, okay? I'm getting the only thing that they regret the only thing that they regret is the initial um, the initial way in which they approached you or the way that things left off here. But I'm getting that they feel as if everything is working out as it should be, okay? Because when you aligned in the past, for some reason, things didn't come together as smoothly. And now they see an opportunity and they feel confident, okay? They feel ready to approach you from a more evolved version of themselves here, okay? It's almost as if they know that they have what it takes to leave this connection and to love you properly because of where they stand today, okay? They fully love and fully honor themselves. And so they know that anyone that they engage with at this stage of their lives, the connection is going to be a direct reflection of that, okay? I'm also getting that this is something that's important to you as well, Divine Feminine. You know, being in a connection where you both are elevating, okay? I'm definitely getting like power couple energy here. Just a very powerful dynamic where you both can kind of pour into each other. Where so much so that the possibilities are just pretty much endless, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The last message that we have is, you're a reflection of me. Wow. Okay. So this masculine feels pride when they think of you, Divine Feminine. Okay. This energy, your reflection in me, really speaks to how this connection reaffirms this masculine in a way that they may not express, but they definitely feel it, okay? They appreciate you. They seek to add value to your life in any way that they can, okay? They see you, Divine Feminine, exactly as you see yourself. Wow. This, this is a very high vibrational love, okay? And I definitely feel like this love that you feel, this energy, is really pushing you both into your highest timeline together. So where they stand today, this masculine has waited patiently, okay? They've watched you blossom into someone that they think is absolutely amazing. And they're absolutely sure that you were made just for them. So even if they're at a distance, they won't be for long, okay? <laughs> this masculine knows that you're an asset and they feel as if they need you. They feel that life with you would afford them a very different experience and reality that they were not used to in the past, okay? I'm definitely feeling like this energy, this connection will be like a breath of fresh air, a space where you both can fully exist and thrive together, okay? I'm getting that you both may have had to experience some very unfavorable connections to get here, but I'm definitely picking up on two people who have been really, really intentional about becoming their highest version before getting into something serious, okay? And it's extremely important to the both of you for this connection to be a vibrational match. 
You know, all of the work that you put in was not in vain, okay? And this connection is about to be proof of that, okay? This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Whoever this message is for, I'm getting that you truly deserve this, okay? You deserve a love that reaffirms just how amazing you are, okay? And I'm getting that it's here, okay? All you have to do is be open and ready to receive because this masculine energy that's coming in is very, very serious about you, Divine Feminine. And they're going to show you very, very soon, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading right here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.